and youth for for wisdom and experience. So that's the trade off that we lose when we lose Caden Balazs and D Rich. But um, I think it's a talented group that we have, and we're going to stand on top of them about the ball security and uh, about protecting the quarterback. Anything else in that category of just what you need to see from guys to show that they're able to play together? Yeah, it's just kind of like you said, it's just what you need to see from guys to show that they're able to get those kind of snaps. Uh, well, we, we, we're going to see on Saturday. You know, at, at this point where we are, you know, Vision was our oldest running back that we have, and that guy has 23 carries. So whoever plays for us in the backfield is going to be a guy that doesn't have a lot of a, a lot of experience, a ton of experience there. Um, after this game, every running back that plays for us will be the most carries or most plays that they've had in their career. You know, you know, Benjamin having maybe 40 snaps since he's been here. I'm hoping that he's going to have more than 40 snaps in the first game. So. Um, that's just where we are, but um, it's, it's exciting. We, we think we did a good job of identifying the right guys to come in and play for us. We got a lot of talent in there, and I think it's going to be exciting. We're all going to be holding on to our seats sometimes, but it'll be an exciting night. Do you already have an idea of how many guys you plan on playing? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, right now, we have three guys that are suited to play. Um, being Eno Benjamin, uh, Isaiah Floyd. Flash and AJ Carter. So those are the three guys that are that are that are prepared to play. And uh, Brock Sturgis could play a little bit, and so could Paul Lucas at some point. But those are the three guys that I think you can see go in the game in the first or the second quarter. John, when you were recruiting, um, when you saw him in high school, what what was what what excited you most about him? Uh, well, just who he was as a person. You know, when I, when I talk about having the opportunity for kids to, to be great and, and play on the next level and be successful on the collegiate level, I like to have conversations with them. You know, my kids that I had at Southern Miss, you know, you look at the skill set, because when you're watching a lot of running backs, it's, uh, you're splitting hairs on skill set. You know, when you're watching a highlight film, a 50-yard run is a 50-yard run. Um, but when you have a conversation with those kids and you can talk to them, tell me what are you seeing and why did you make that cut when they can articulate that to you, then that tells you you have a little something special. They have an opportunity to be special. Why don't you come over here, Jerry? Let's get on this camera eating all this food. Um, but so Eno, Eno is a, is a very smart guy. What he was able to do in Texas football on the team where he was the only Division One kid on that team and go in and beat a Holland Park out in Texas was, was pretty impressive. So I was just impressed with his work ethic and his dedication to the game. What, what have you seen as far as the collective growth of all these newcomers from uh, first day of fall camp until today? Yeah, it's been it's been good to see. You know, I wish we had one of those. Uh, what's the deal where you speed up the the time the time lapse deal <laughs> so you can see their growth uh, in a meeting room? So it's just been good to see AJ come along and evolve, um, Floyd come along and understanding protections, and uh, and that's been the biggest growth with those two. It's been good to see Traylon make the leaps and bounds from where he was of understanding in the game last year and you need that sometimes as a freshman so I'm excited about that room man I'm excited about the talent and the commitment that we have in that room. Coach obviously a much younger group this year uh, what differences do you notice kind of in the chemistry in the running back room with all underclassmen? Uh, spirit man it's, it's a fresh spirit you know D. Rich and Kaden at some point they were seniors you start focusing on your career and am I in a position to make the big play or am I getting so many carries, am I getting so many touches, are you putting me in the right position to give me an opportunity to showcase myself to the scouts. So it's more business, more focus. You know, these young guys are just coming in, they happy to be here, you know, they just happy to have socks and shoes on and <laughs> can they get their ankles spattered or not and just want to go out to practice every day and, and just play ball. So we got a room full of kids that just love to play the game, so it's exciting. How do you think that positive energy impacts the team overall? It does. It's a good energy, but it's, it's, it's how it's supposed to be when you're a youngster. When you come in and there's so much stress and pressure for you to lead the team along with you trying to take care of your business. Right now, they just get to be free and just worry about themselves. So we can let Manny and Nikhil and those other guys lead the team right now. And we're just going to show up and play football and have fun. All right. Thanks, guys.